Mark Silva, number 38, Infamous Wrecking Crew. I'm from southwestern Ontario in Canada. Uh, I'm, I haven't been actually playing paintball that long since 2014. But my first team was a local ESPL team. ESPL was a, a local uh, a local league run by Sean Jean. I played on a local ESPL team. I was uh, played on Canadian Express. I was team captain for there. Uh, a PSP team. Uh, I was on the Detroit Infamous practice squad. Uh, for another sponsor, we were. Uh, I was on that team, and uh, now on uh, Infamous Wrecking Crew. Uh, I will play paintball anywhere and everywhere. Uh, I have played in um, some of the local leagues around here. I have played at World Cup before um, in 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 speedball um, or tournament ball. I have played scenario ball all over North America. No, probably World Cup 2014 was probably one of my favorite events. Um, there, there's a few, but that's probably one of the, the best ones. Um, actually, playing at World Cup, isn't it? With Canadian Express was a uh, something else. Um, and then Infamous actually won. And then being able to go on the field afterwards, um, I will never forget that. I tried out for Detroit Infamous and made the practice squad. And that was run by, Sean, the coaches was Sean, Sean and Ben. Um, and then we just started hanging around. And I'd known Jay for uh, a really long time outside of paintball. And then uh, it was uh, Andrew was the coach of the local ESPL team. So um, it, we just enjoyed playing paintball together. Um, and then it just turned into what it is now from there. Describe the team. Uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit on this question. I'm going to use the term uh, building a legacy because I think that's what we're trying to do here. Um, I want to be one of those those things where years from now people can say that they've played with number 28 or number 38 um, and something to pass along to uh, next generations. Not that we're that old, but uh, just making something that's building that legacy. I am in the education field. Follow me on Instagram <laughs> at Mark Da Silva. M-A-R-K-D-E-S-Y-L-V-A. <laughs> ben Sides, number 60, infamous wrecking crew. Who is he? What does he do? Why does he look so majestic? And how come everybody thinks he looks like Sean Jean? And why is it so hard to get an interview with this man? Next time, Ben. Next time. Hey, I'm Sean Jean, number 44 of the Infamous Wrecking Crew. I'm from Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. I've been playing paintball for a very long time. Um, I first played paintball in 1988, uh, so I guess that makes it almost 30 years. I guess 30 years coming up this year. Uh, first played uh, paintball with a group of friends at Flags White Paintball. In, uh, uh, it was a little bit north of where its current location is in London, Ontario now, but it uh, feels still going strong, kind of like me. And uh, um, Yeah. Uh, I pretty quickly uh, got hooked, like I imagine most of you guys, and uh, ended up uh, playing competitively in Port Huron, Michigan, with a team called the Tasmanian Devils. Um, Sarnia is a border city, so being able to go back and forth across the border with relative ease um, made it really easy to play in the States, so I, I sort of played over there for quite a while. Um, played on lots of teams over, over th you know, almost 30 years. Um, obviously, you know, some of the highlights are more recent, you know, I had a, a chance to, to do some work with a, a team called Chop Shop back in the, the, uh, the mid 2000s and then be involved with, uh, uh, the London Express, which became Canadian Express, um, long ago, uh, you know, probably seven years ago now, um, worked on their national programs, both in Canada and the States, um, through the CXBL and MPPL respectively. And uh, since 2012, I've been involved with a team that you guys all know called Los Angeles Infamous. Um, had a bunch of different roles with with uh, Travis and the guys. Uh, for the last couple of seasons, I've been uh, Travis's assistant coach, um, as well as responsible for sort of making sure they have everything they need um, to be competitive on a, a day in day out basis at the events. I harass them about being hydrated and you know, make sure that all their stuff is running and ready to go, liaise with the techs, that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm lucky enough to be with those guys, great group of guys and a great organization. Um, one of the questions that uh, was posed to me was, uh, did you start playing, you know, speedball or woods ball? 
and uh, <laughs> when I started there was no speedball. Um, games were played in the woods, but very speedball-esque. Obviously the fields were a lot bigger, the teams were a lot bigger, 10 and 15 man teams. But the, uh, the intensity was still there and lots of those pieces felt very, very similar. Um, to, to what you guys would know as speedball now. Uh, Hyperball came in around that time and that was sort of, you know, where airball and that sort of stuff as we knew it uh, appeared from. Um, leagues, I mean, again, when you've been around a, a hundred years like me, you've been involved in tons and tons of leagues. Um, you know, essentially most national leagues, both in Canada and the States, I've, I've been involved in the MPPL, the MPPL PSP split, um, the NXL in Canada, pretty much every division of the CXPL at some point in some way. Um, lots of local leagues, lots of local events. Um, so yeah, the, you know, been lucky enough to do lots of that stuff. Um, favorite moment. You know, uh, being around for a long time again, I keep saying that, but it's, you know, when you get old, you forget. Um, favorite moment is tough. I mean, because, you know, uh, the Infamous Wrecking Crew is really a great bunch of guys. We get to do lots of cool things. So there's lots of different moments in different contexts. But I think probably one of the, the best paintball moments I've been involved with is uh, at the end of the 2014 season with, uh, with LA Infamous. Um, we hadn't had a particularly uh, good year. I shouldn't say that. We started out strong. We won Dallas. And then uh, in the PSP that year, there was a Champions and Challengers. We had a rough couple of events and ended up in Challengers for the World Cup. Um, and as fate would have it, Dynasty, who's a team that we always uh, ended up facing back then, um, was the other finalist. Now, to be fair, it's not a World Cup win. Totally on board. We were the Challengers. But to have Dynasty versus us, uh, it was still a tough match. And in my opinion, that match was probably the most exciting match of paintball ever played. If you haven't seen it, go search it up on YouTube. It's unreal. Super back and forth match the whole time. Penalties going both ways. Uh, goes to one-on-ones. Um, just an awesome match to be involved with. Just so much emotion and uh, to come out on top of that was was pretty cool. And again, with a, with a great group of guys. Where Infamous Wrecking Crew came from? Uh, a couple of years ago, I was uh, a factory team player. Uh, and we had a, a group of uh, group of guys within that factory team that sort of molded together. Partly because we were Canadian, but there's some others who weren't Canadian that, that sort of fell into that group. Um, and we're, we, we're uh, referred to as the drinking team. For that, for that group. Um, fast forward a couple of years, things are going well, we're going to events, and you have to understand that, you know, the, the guys we play with, we go to a lot of scenario games, and to be wholly honest, we are not great scenario players. We're good at going out, taking objectives, shooting people, that sort of thing. We don't hold objectives particularly well, and, you know, it's, one of our guys said it's like herding cats on meth, right? We're just kind of all over the place. Um, but after a particular event at uh, Hell Survivors a number of years ago where I happened to be the general, we went from being the last place team by a long shot to being the first place team by a long shot over the, uh, the course of a day. And uh, somebody at that point made the comment that we were a real wrecking crew. So when uh, we decided we wanted to play under the infamous name, it was, it was sort of naturally fell into place that we would become the, uh, the infamous wrecking crew. And, you know, I still think the name holds true. You know, we go out and do lots of damage and we're uh, <laughs> totally inappropriate and, and uh, you know, sort of out there. But we have a good time and people around us have a good time. And really, that's what this is supposed to be about. Um, you know, I, I don't know what a record is for scenario games. It's not bad, I wouldn't think. But, you know what, as long as I leave with some good memories and a good time and the people around me had a good time, I feel like I've won anyway. One word to describe Infamous Wrecking Crew. I think, again, there's all sorts of inappropriate stuff that pops to mind, but I, I think the big one is, is loyal. Like, this is a group of guys that I'm really lucky to, to have in my life, um, both on the field, off the field, inside of paintball and outside of paintball. I, you know, I look forward to the time I get to spend with them. I look forward to the trips on the road. Um, you know, people tend to want to come hang out because we're just entertaining, right? We, we have a good time and... The beer's always cold, and the stories are always funny. Um, 
and that's I think we need I think we need more of that. So you know, the loyalty has kept us together through some sponsorship changes and through lots of other changes, and and uh, I think that'd be a real good one to describe us. Finally, what do I do outside of paintball? Well, I'm the owner and operator of Intensity Customs. Um, Intensity Customs, Customs is a soft good manufacturer. We do jerseys, pants, packs, all, you name it, we make it for paintball, typically. Uh, one of the few people who actually manufactures our own stuff. As well, um, we do soccer and football and baseball and hockey and all sorts of other stuff. So it's busy pretty much all the time. Um, finally, if you're looking to, to uh, Check us out. You can find me on Instagram at, at Intensity Customs, on Twitter, again, at Intensity Customs, or on Facebook under my name, Sean Jean. And uh, don't forget to click the uh, like and subscribe button below. McGill puts a lot of effort into these videos. And, uh, you know, I personally like to look back and, and see some of the, the goofy stuff we do. So if you like it, make sure you hit those buttons to keep uh, updated on Wrecking Crew Paintball. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.